Hey everybody, uh, Lieutenant Dan here. Um, I've been getting a lot of people calling me and asking me how to make uh, uh, catfish noodle, Johnson County style, and um, I want to make a short video uh, telling everybody what they need to make these. Um, I've been making them for about three or four years, and it's kind of been an ongoing uh, progress. Uh, the first thing you need to do is uh, get your supply list. At the end of the video, I'm going to post those and give you everything you need to know. Uh, first of all, you got to have your noodle. Uh, this is real important. Uh, probably go to Walmart and pick up uh, the, the, the adult size noodle, not the kid size noodle. They make the smaller one, and then they make like the three inch model. Get the three inch model. Uh, you cut it into three pieces. You cut them six inches long, and you cut it um, three pieces, 20 inches long. I weigh a trim 270, and one of these noodles will keep me floating in the pool. So in theory, this 20 inch piece of noodle will keep uh, 90 pounds of float. Uh, that's the first thing you want to do. Also, uh, I've tried the pink, the green, the red, orange. Uh, the lime green tends to show up better at night time for some reason. I don't know why. They just do. Uh, definitely go with those. Uh, these noodles at Walmart are $3.88 a piece. Uh, second thing you want to do is go to Lowe's and buy you some three-quarter inch PVC uh, pipe, Schedule 40. Uh, what you want to do is cut it into 30 inch pieces. Um, you can get uh, four 30 inch uh, sections out of one 10 foot piece of uh, three-quarter inch PVC. Also, uh, I'd probably get the Schedule 40. It's a little stronger, uh, definitely. But you also want to take one of your noodles, with you that you cut. Most of the time, it's a three-quarter inch old, but you may have some that are a half an inch. So you, you're going to have to get the correct PVC pipe accordingly. Then you want to buy some caps. If you're making 12 noodles, you're going to need 24 caps. Uh, they're 36 cents a piece at Lowe's. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is a 3 16 uh, machine thread eyelet bolt. This right here, uh, the eyelet bolt, is what you tie your line and your swivel to. Uh, these are also uh, 36 cents a piece. Uh, while you're at Lowe's also, you want to buy some PVC glue, either the medium or the uh, extra heavy duty strength, either one. Um, when you buy the machine eyelet bolts, it comes with a nut, but you also want to buy some flat washers. You want to have a flat washer on the outside and a flat washer on the inside also. Um, the next thing you want to do is get a 10 foot section of a half inch rebar. Uh, basically, the rebar is in the inside. It acts as a counterweight. While the noodle is sitting in the water, rebar is where the noodle is. When a fish hits it, it slides down, scaring the fish, and the fish sets the hook on himself and the noodle will stand up in the water like this. And then you can hear the noodle. And then, even in the dark, you're gonna see it before you hear it. So you wanna buy a 10 foot section of a half inch rebar, that's $5.50 at Lowe's, and cut it into 12 10 inch pieces. The weight in here is about 10 inches long. 
Uh, getting back to the island and the camp here, what you're going to want to do is buy some liquid nails, lock tight, some type of sealant to seal uh, where you drilled your hole and attached your, your island bolt. Because if you don't, water is going to come in to your noodle. I've tried it with and without it. It's a must have. You got to do it. Um, next, this is where the rubber meets the road. You want to have like a 250 or 275 pound coast lock swivel. What this allows the fish to do, once he gets on, the line won't twist and break. It's not really important with small cats, but if you fish at Car Lake, Falls, Jordan, or Gaston Lake, or any big lake where there's really big fish, you need a coast lock swivel. The next thing, uh, and don't laugh at this, you're going to want at least a 100 pound or 150 pound Power Pro Brady line or Tough line. Uh, we started out 25 kept getting broken off, went to 50, kept getting broken off, and we stopped at 100. We haven't been broken off since. Uh, the line is probably the most important. Don't use monofilament. It doesn't hold up. It doesn't wrap as good. Um, the braided Power Pro line is the way to go. Um, next thing you want is just an egg sinker, a half ounce egg sinker. You can buy these at Walmart. Uh, on this particular one, I just used a big worm weight. Uh, once again, this is something I learned in trial and error. Don't use a uh, clamp-on egg sinker because once you're fighting a catfish, you get them in the net, the clamp-on sinker will pull off every time. You want to use an egg sinker or a very large worm weight that's on the line where it won't pull off. Uh, last thing here is where the rubber meets the road. Uh, you want to use at least a 7 aught hook. This one here is a Eagle Claw Octopus 7 aught hook in a black chrome finish. Uh, you either want to use black chrome or a stainless hook or a a silver hook. The bronze hooks that you buy at Walmart, uh, they pretty much rust before you get them home. Uh, you, you don't want to use those. Either stainless, black chrome, or just a chrome finish. And at least a 7 off. I've had uh, 3 all, 5 all hooks completely straightened out before. So you want to get, use a good hook. Uh, some people say, well, you can't catch a, a small catfish on a hook this big. That's a lie. I've called a uh, one-pound cat off a seven-aught hook. Um, it's, it's nothing to it. Um, getting back to my noodle here, a couple things, guys. Like I said, you want to have at least a 10-inch piece of uh, half-inch rebar in here for your weight. You put it in the water, the noodle will set like this a little bit, and the weight's here. When the catfish strikes it, he pulls it down, scares him. He drags it under, sets the hook on itself, and then you can hear it right a mile away. Also, what you want to do is get uh, a really good spotlight. Usually the uh, uh, 300,000 counter power, 1 million spotlight, or the LEDs probably work the best. Um, what you want to do is one of the last things you do to your noodle is go to Amazon.com and order you some reflective tape. Uh, if you get in a bind, you can go to Tractor Supply, Walmart, Lowe's, Agri Supply. AutoZone uh, and get uh, what they call uh, reflective tape for trailers. That works okay. Uh, the red 
for some reason doesn't shine as good as the silver. Uh, you can buy a roll for about 15 bucks on Amazon. And this is also important. Get the new reflective tape that has the little triangles versus the old style that has the silver specks. This stuff here lights up like a Christmas tree. You want to put uh, three pieces on. One on the tip where your eyelid is, one in the middle, and then one on the end. So if the noodle's 300 yards away and you shine your spotlight, you're able to see all three tips. However, if you have a fish that's hit the noodle and for some reason got off, you can only see two pieces of tape. And if you have a fish that's on the noodle, now you only see one piece of reflective tape. And believe me, it'll be dancing. So guys, uh, that's pretty much all there is to making these. Um, we've caught a lot of big fish over the years. Uh, here's a few pictures. Of the fish we caught. Uh, the largest we've caught so far has been 50 pounds at uh, Car Lake, but it's nothing to catch uh, a dozen fish that weigh 25 pounds, you know, very easily. Uh, I can't stress enough you want to have a big net. Don't go out there with a, 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 a brim net, it's, it's not going to work. Definitely have a big net. Uh, uh, in North Carolina, by law, you got to put your name, phone number, and address on your noodle. Uh, what I do is put my phone number on here and my first name and last name. Uh, if the game warden wants to find you, he can run your name in the computer and see that you got a fishing license and also. Uh, he call you on your cell phone. I keep that on here. I don't recommend putting your address. You know, somebody may run over your noodle in a ski boat and you don't want to burn down your house because they run over your noodle with their ski boat. Uh, so that's why I don't put my address on there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the best time to go is at night time. Uh, the very best bait that we've used has been uh, shrimp, that works fantastic. Cut up shad, cut up brim, they work great. Uh, in North Carolina, it's illegal to use live bait on your uh, uh, noodle. So check your regulations about that. Um, if, if you got somebody who's new to fishing, uh, this is the best thing to do. Go out there about 8 o'clock at night when it's getting dark. Uh, set them out at dusk with shrimp or whatever your bait is. Set the noodle in the water with the weight on this end. Uh, listen to some music kind of low and have a tasty beverage. And uh, uh, within about 10 minutes, you're going to have a fish. And it's great for kids, women. Uh, it's, it's a lot of action and it's, it's kind of like watching a cork except it's a big cork um, anyhow guys if you would comment any questions uh, shoot me an email also if you uh, see anything I could probably do a little better uh, send me an email uh, definitely guys if you would uh, take a kid fishing uh, take him shooting Take him uh, hunting, take him riding four wheelers. But before you do all that, how about taking him to church? I'm Lieutenant Dan. Take care.